blessed be friends. Join me as we travel through several wonderful places in the Philippines and have a current view of the place as it is in our visit. Ride with me with my ever so faithful cafe for 100 motorcycle and together let's check out some coffee shops, restaurants, resorts and many many more wonderful places in the country that other may not even know that exist. Today, we saddle up for another adventure ride at Fine Special Bulalo on the hill at Tagate City. And with amazing blue sky plus some clouds, let's go. Go, go. But first, do like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe here in Lobo Viajero YouTube channel. And let the journey begin. Today, we are setting out to explore the brilliant city planning that seamlessly connects various subdivisions and landmarks through a series of well thought out roads. Our journey will take me from Las Pinas to the scenic heights of Tagate with every twist and turn offering a new story to tell. As the sun rises over Vista Avenue Denghari in Las Pinas, we gear up for another exhilarating ride through the heart of Cavite. The hum of my motorcycle's engine is a symphony of freedom and adventure promising a day of discovery and delight. Starting our journey on Vista Avenue Denghari, we are immediately struck by the smooth, well-maintained road. As we glide through the early morning traffic, we can't help but appreciate the efficient city planning that has gone into creating this thoroughfare. Denghari is not just a road. It is a lifeline that connects the bustling city of Las Pinas to the serene subdivisions of Cavite. The transition onto Villa Avenue is seamless, almost poetic in its simplicity. As we merge onto the highway, the familiar rhythm of the road guides us to each twist and turn a familiar dance between man and machine. The wind whispers secrets of distant lands and the scent of freedom fills the air as we carve our path through the countryside. Villa Avenue is a testament to thoughtful urban design. This road weaves through the heart of Cavite, connecting a tapestry of subdivisions. Each neighborhood we pass is a microcosm of community life vibrant and full of character. The road is lined with trees offering a refreshing shade that makes the ride even more enjoyable. It's here that I truly appreciate the foresight of Cavite city planners. They have created a network that not only connects but also enhances the quality of life for its residents. As we merge onto Union Theological Seminary Boulevard, there's a noticeable change in the atmosphere. The road takes on a quieter, more reflective quality, perhaps influenced by the historic seminary it is named after. This boulevard is a reminder that roads are more than just physical connections, they are also pathways to history and culture. The seminary stands as a beacon of learning and spirituality, and as we ride past, we can feel a sense of calm and introspection. Turning left onto Congressional Road, we are back in the thick of Cavite's vibrant pulse. This road is a vital artery bustling with activity and commerce. It is here that the lifeblood of Cavite flows with markets, shops and businesses lining the streets. The transition onto Governor's Drive is equally dynamic. This road is wider accommodating a steady stream of vehicles that include everything from motorcycles to jeepneys. It's a reminder of Cavite's economic vitality and the importance of its infrastructure.
As we approach Emilio Aguinaldo Highway, the sense of history deepens. Named after the first president of the Philippines, this highway is more than just a road. It is a journey through time. The highway is lined with historical markers and sites that tell the story of the nation's struggle for independence from the American cruelty. Here, we are reminded of the resilience and courage of the Filipino people. The smooth pavement beneath our tires seems to whisper tales of the past, making the ride both nostalgic and inspiring. The final leg of our journey takes us onto the Cavite Tagate Bypass Road. This road is a rider's dream with its gentle curves and stunning vistas. As we ascend towards the air grows cooler and the landscape transforms into a picturesque tableau of rolling hills and lush greenery. The view from this road is nothing short of breathtaking. It's the perfect ending to a day's ride of exploration, a reward for the kilometers traveled. As we park our motorcycles and take in the view, we reflect on the journey. Each road we traveled today told a story each turn revealed a new facet of Cavite. From the efficient connectivity of Vista Avenue Danghari to the historical depth of Emilio Aguinaldo Highway, this ride was a testament to the brilliant city planning of Cavite. It is a journey we will cherish and one we eagerly anticipate taking again. Well known for its breathtaking views and mouth-watering Bulalo, this restaurant has become a must-visit destination for food enthusiasts and travelers alike. Nestled in the picturesque hills of Tagate, find special Bulalo on the hill is a culinary gem that promises an unforgettable dining experience. The adventure begins with the scenic drive up to Tagate. As we wind our way through the lush green landscape, the anticipation builds. The cool mountain air is a refreshing change from the bustling city below, and the panoramic views are simply stunning. The road to Tvian Special Bulalo on the hill is an experience in itself. Upon arriving, I am greeted by the friendly staff and the inviting aroma of simmering Bulalo. The restaurant's charming rustic design with its wooden accents and cozy atmosphere immediately makes me feel at home. The outdoor seating area offers an unobstructed view making it the perfect spot to enjoy a meal or soaking in the natural beauty of Tagate. A while overlooking the bustling street below, we reflect on the road that brought us here. It was more than just a ride. It was a journey of self-discovery, a testament to the freedom that comes from embracing the unknown. And as I raise my cup to toast to the road ahead, we know that the adventure is only just beginning. Ah, the story behind the name Tvayant adds an extra layer of charm to this already delightful spot. It's a testament to the personal touch that defines this family-owned establishment, with Vian invoking the Filipino word for Olam, the heart and soul of every Filipino meal. It's a fitting homage to the culinary heritage that inspires each dish served here. So when you sit down to enjoy your Tvayan Tapa breakfast set, you're not just savoring a meal. You're experiencing a taste of tradition craft with love and passed down through generations. You won't believe what I stumbled upon a hidden gem that's not just for bikers, but for the whole family. Picture this. As you pull up to the welcoming embrace of this roadside haven, your kids' eyes light up at the sight of the toy rides beckoning them to play. This place isn't just about the thrilling rides and delicious eats, it's about creating memories with your loved ones. While you savor your favorite Tvai and Tapa breakfast set, your little ones can embark on their own adventures riding into imaginary worlds of excitement and joy. 
The place isn't just about the thrilling rides and delicious eats, it's about creating memories with your loved ones. While you savor your favorite breakfast set, your little ones can embark on their own adventures riding into imaginary worlds of excitement and joy. A heartfelt shout out to Miss Geneva and Chief Joma, along with the incredible staff who went above and beyond to make our visit unforgettable. Their warm hospitality truly made us feel like part of the family. And for bikers, this place isn't just a pit stop, it's a home away from home, complete with a special spot to proudly showcase your journey with those iconic stickers. Hello, welcome to Tibayan Restaurant, uh, located at Tagaytay City. A special people below on the hill. And don't forget to like and share long of your hair. Thank you. But it's not just about the food, it's the experience. As I savor each delicious bite, I'm reminded of the kilometers I've traveled the roads of Concord and the adventures that lie ahead. And here in this humble roadside eatery, bikers like me are welcome with open arms, our presence celebrated with a special spot to proudly display our journey in the form of stickers. Revving up for another day on the road, and what better way to start than with the legendary Tvayan type of breakfast set? Picture this, as the morning sun casts its golden hue over the horizon. I'm diving into a plate of succulent beef tapa marinated to perfection and seared to mouth-watering tenderness, paired with fragrant garlic fried rice and topped off with a pair of sun-kissed eggs. It's a feast fit for a road warrior. Every bite is a harmonious blend of sweet savory and tangy goodness making it the ultimate comfort food to kickstart the day. If you're looking for a breakfast that truly satisfies, the Tvai and Tapa set is an absolute must-try. Once again, if you're hitting the open road and craving a taste of true culinary delight, make sure to fuel up with the Twai and Tapa breakfast set. It's not just a meal, it's a testament to the spirit of adventure that fuels every motorcycle journey. As we sit back and enjoy the view savoring the last bites, we realize that Tvayand on the Hill is more than just a restaurant. It's a destination that offers a complete sensory experience from the scenic drive to the warm hospitality and exceptional food. Whether you're a local or a traveler, this is a place you'll want to return to time and time again. Here I see some black and white photos on the wall, and I must just say, I love black and white. Ha ha ha. While the restrooms are impeccably clean and hygienic, ensuring a comfortable and pleasant experience for all visitors. Whether you're just passing through or planning to linger a while, this venue promises an atmosphere of genuine warmth and hospitality that'll keep you coming back for more. One of the cafe's highlights is its charming outdoor seating area. This space is adorned with green plants and colorful flowers offering a lovely view and a breath of fresh air. It's an ideal spot for enjoying a quiet moment in the morning or watching the sunset with a cold brew in hand after a long ride. Once again, Lobo Viagero saying thank you for joining me in this wonderful journey and do stay tuned for our next exciting adventures. Truly, it's another beautiful day that the Lord has made so let us rejoice and be glad in it. But do not forget to like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe here in this YouTube channel and you will be so blessed. Always ride safe and ride another day. In other words, do not be a Carmo T-Rider. Lobo Viagero here saying marry meet and marry part.